so I am starting a new series. So this video is starting a new series on a new word. If you haven't seen my other series talking about faith, then make sure you go watch them. It's only three videos. These series will be up to mainly three videos, three scriptures talking about that series of that one word. And I will be reading out of Psalms 4610 today. Be still, I know that I'm God about anxiety. So if you like these uh, series, make sure you give this video a like and comment what what you got it out of it. If it helps you, share a little bit of your testimony, any prayer requests, let me know. But I'm going to go ahead and get into the video and start reading the passage. It says, you say you know the truth, but the worry within you says something entirely different. Your restless soul begs for stillness and peace that gives you the confident hope you need to carry on. But the troubles of life trump your faith and you find yourself growing too weary to believe what you know to be true. Listen to me, I've never forsaken you, and I'm not about to now. Within my grasp is every detail of your life, past, present, and future. You know this, just be still for a moment and listen closely to my still, small voice. Until your last breath, until that moment when you enter into my presence, I am with you at all times and in all ways. Trust in who I am and nothing else. Trust in who he is, know that he is there and he will never leave nor forsake you ever, <laughs> ever. Your faith can't carry you unless you remain fixed on me. I'm the God who created all things and keeps the universe in motion your universe the problems within you and without are not bigger than i am what exactly do you think is too big for me what do you think is too big for him honestly like nothing he created this whole world in six days and the seventh he rested so nothing is too big for him and there's nothing he can't handle what miracle is it that i can't perform nothing whatever it is just be still and know deep within that i am god and he will take care of you and give you all your needs and listen to you and answer your prayers in his timing and in his will and in his ways because he's never too late never too early but on time and always perfect i'm gonna just go over a little bit and explain it says you say you know the truth but the word but then you says something entirely different i will confess and tell y'all i do that all the time we are human beings and we will doubt sometimes but we need to get scripture in our heads like do not fear do not doubt in me believe in his word it says as you know the truth so we know the truth the one for the ones who read his word and stuff we know what his word says you know he will never leave and forsake us so why do we feel at times that we are so lonely that we don't have no one that we're depressed and we don't have no one well it says in his word that he will never leave us he will never forsake us he was he will always be here for us so you say you know the truth but the worry within you says something entirely different why worry you know trust him know that he's with us don't have let's not have anxiety because I, I remember people told me all the time that i had anxiety yes it's a process and we have to heal from a lot of stuff but let's not worry. Let's just write down scripture. Some ways that it helps me is write down scripture, talking about it, reading it over daily, speaking good affirmations over us. Like, I will not worry today. I will have a good day today. I will trust in God. I have faith in God. I know who he is and what he is capable of doing through me in my life. So let's speak that over us. Let's speak the scripture. Be still and know that I'm God. Psalms 4610. That is a short scripture. Be still and know that I'm God. Just go throughout your day saying that repeatedly. Be still and know that he is God. And He, who he says he is is true and not false. Because it is his word. And his word is truth. Psalms 4610. So that is this passage about heart knowledge. Our first part of anxiety there will be two more videos two more scriptures if you have any questions if you have because i know I, I have more words like spiritual battle and prayer coming up in other series but if you have any words that you want me to talk about specifically any questions any prayer requests let me know down below do not be shy at all make sure you give this video a like and if you have any uh prayer requests uh like i said what I meant is if you have any stories you want to share, a testimony, everybody has a testimony, 
uh, a testimony can be any events, events you've went through, but God's brought you out of it, share that. If you have, if you've had bad anxiety, worse than you do now, share that down below. Uh, I will always read your comment, and I will like it and reply. And I just thank you for uh, watching this video. And if you are new though, so make sure you subscribe because I always check and it does say uh, more people watch my videos that aren't subscribed. And if you do like this video, make sure you subscribe so I'll know so I'll make some more of it because on this channel I do faith, beauty, and lifestyle. And like sometimes challenge stuff overall, but mainly beauty, lifestyle, and faith. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love y'all so much, but God loves y'all 10 times more. And I'll see y'all in my next video.